Hi, I'm Jack Magruder with Intermission, and I'm here right now in the middle of one of the One Prayer target areas of focus, working with One Prayer trained church planters to bring about the kingdom of God according to the vision of the One Prayer movement. And now, you may remember, the vision of the One Prayer movement is to plant 500 churches in the four nations of India, Cambodia, China, and Sudan within 18 months. I mean, it's an audacious, out there, God-sized vision. And we are working right here in the field to see that it happens every single day. Now, you may be wondering, okay, but what does that really mean? I mean, you know, we've been doing this for about six months now. So where are we? I mean, I want to see some hard metrics. What exactly does that look like? So let me tell you, to date, what that means is there are 364 trained pastors and planters that have been part of the One Prayer Network. Now, for the last six months, they have been attending classes and training, and they've been being mentored and followed up with by One Prayer people. And so now, many of them are out, and they are planting their own churches. They are, they are baptizing people in individual communities. They are, they are building these churches, and so they are moving forward. But in addition to that, there are 18,764 evangelical contacts. That means that these One Prayer Church planters are actually going forth and they are building bridges of friendship to people in their communities for the purpose of helping them to see the light and the life that is offered through Jesus Christ. That also means that there are 12,648 people actively engaged in ongoing Bible studies. That means that they're meeting once a week or maybe even more for the purpose of, of studying Scripture together and moving forward into what it means to follow Jesus Christ. Out of those Bible studies, there have been nearly 600 people who have followed through with believers' baptism. Now, that means in some of these cultures that they are taking an active step in a very public fashion. And you have to remember that in some of these cultures, to identify yourself publicly with the body of Christ is an active form of aggressive disobedience to the established religious, social, or political elite. I mean, you're signing up for persecution, torture, or possibly even death. And in the midst of that, you need to know that there have been 74 churches already planted through the One Prayer Movement. It's, it's an exciting day. We are excited to be part of this with you. This means that as brothers and sisters in Christ, we as participants in the One Prayer Movement and the people who are also implementing the One Prayer Movement are joining around the common vision of planting churches in these nations. Now, I hope that these statistics are as encouraging to you as they are to us. And I'd like to encourage you to continue to log on to OnePrayer.com each week to see a featured story of a church planter operating in one of these four target contexts. Now, I'd like to thank you on behalf of the One Prayer Movement for your continued participation through ongoing prayer and sacrificial giving to make the One Prayer Movement happen. And I, and I hope that you will take great joy in knowing that this is what happens when the people of God join together under the banner of One Prayer.